So Heart Council and Wellness, it's an acronym. It stands for Heal, Evolve, and Renew. Um, and we are a counseling and wellness center in North Little Rock. So we see individuals, we see couples, we see families, we see friendships, we see kids, we see adults. We also do mental health consulting, we do coaching, and we also do supervision and mentorship as well. I never really wanted to be an entrepreneur. My dream was just to like have a really good counseling job at a really good facility somewhere. And I started doing it part-time in my years of working. I feel like that we have a lot of spaces that are not inclusive to everyone. I was just sitting one day and I was like, I would like, I would do this differently and I would do this differently. And I text my best friend and I was like, you wanna open a business? And she was like, sure. And I was just like, okay. And here we are four years later. All of the stuff that there is to learn about running a business is definitely still a challenge. The advice that I do give people when they come to me all the time is to try to be as authentic as possible with what is gonna align with you. Just trusting that wherever's gonna come to you is gonna come to you. Every single person, regardless of how they look or, or like what they people think that they should look like, we all have mental health. We all have mental things that have went on with us that we've struggled with. That we just have to continue to have those conversations of no, this isn't about your friend or whoever. It's about you. The same way it's about me. We have to find ways to uplift people in these positions. We do amazing things in the community and in the city. We started a, a summer internship for minority teen girls who would possibly want to come into the counseling field. We did a retreat for other mental health clinicians of color in the area. It's the small wins when I have parent-child dynamics. So if I have a mother-daughter combo that comes into me and tells me, hey, we're speaking more, or I'm telling my other friends that you probably need to do this with your daughter so that you guys can have a better relationship. So when you're able to make those like small wins with the people, that makes a shift in the community to me. Hopefully that what I'm doing and what our business is doing is actually making an impact. Trying to continue to change the way that mental health is looked at and the narrative behind that because mental health is health, continuing to foster these conversations to change the narrative of how we look at mental health and align it up with the rest of our health, and that's that's amazing to me. Being nominated for the Health and Wellness Small Business Award means a lot to me. I would never have, have did this or had the success that I've had if I had not have did this in my home state.